Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Today I want to say that the, the most important thing in a relationship, which most people do not know about at all, um, most people are basically having poor relationships and I want to share with you today the number one reason which I feel is responsible for causing all the trouble and not happy relationships. Okay. Today I want to share with you what will help prevent you from having loads of problems in your relationships and be really happy in your relationships, much happier at least, okay? And that is to stop, to be really, 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 really careful with your emotions and your words with people. Be really, really careful with your triggers and your actions and behavior with people. And it could be anybody, any person whatsoever, including your relationships, of course, your romantic relationships. Most of us are just very, very reckless and careless. And when, when someone else is triggered, our partner, when they are triggered or upset or not being careful, we also then just not be careful also. So... We really, really, really need to focus on being very, 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 very present, grounded, balanced, and careful, okay? Careful and caring, they are the two words that will deliver you to a brilliant life, okay? So be careful and caring with your body, your holy body temple, your, your life, your, your diet, your exercise, your sleep for other people, your partner, your mum and your dad, your children, your boss, your employees, your co-workers, strangers, the environment. Ha like, ask yourself, are you being careful and caring to the environment? Because, for example, a lot of people these days, like me too, I'm totally included in everything. We can just like buy things full of rubbish, like creating loads of garbage. And we don't see where these garbages all go, but it's polluting the earth. It's totally rubbishing the earth. So, but getting back to the relationships, okay? We do not want to stay in a perpetually negative relationship, okay? With someone being negative and uncareful and uncaring with us. But at the same time, we need to improve ourselves if we're, like, we need to take our responsibility because usually we like to blame the other person and both people do that. But the real question is, are we being careful and caring? and honest with ourselves and other people. Because when we are triggered and our traumas come up, one thing I said today on Facebook is I never want to punish somebody when their, when their traumas and traumatizes from the past come up, when their tra tra traumas come up, okay? Um, I never want to be punish them or be cold to them or be mean either obviously and grossly or even like subtly or like you know like get cold treatment or passive aggressive or just being mean or being intolerant or giving out to them belittling them calling them drama and calling them like being too emotional and stuff At the, a lot of people do this especially men with women but really we want to empathize understand have compassion and understanding listen not not try and respond too quickly so the main problem with relationships is people are trigger happy with their words and their emotions <laughs> whatever totally reckless and uncareful okay so ask yourself are you ever trigger happy with your words and emotions and triggers and actions with your partner or anyone in your life and if you are there's an area to work on and improve there um, so instead of just saying it's all their fault, look at how you can improve. But at the same time, if you feel the the, the relationship is like just too too negative or too traumatic overall, then self love will ask you, why are you putting up with this situation or relationship that isn't serving your highest happiness or joy or even your happiness good, highest good? So we have, uh, what, uh, we have to ask ourselves, what is our self-worth or our, our own self-value? 
because if we and also what is blocking us from leaving something that's clearly either destructive harmful traumatizing or not for our, our highest good we have the support of our angels and spirit guides with us okay at all times so we we just need to thank them and be grateful and talk to them and ask them for their help and investigate ourselves like I'm saying in this video self-study knowing others is wise knowing yourself is enlightenment there's a really good quotation so the only way we can know ourselves is to self-question and self-study self-investigate to reflect to be honest with ourselves we can't hide or deny the truth we have to be honest with ourselves and then be honest with other people okay so if we judge and condemn ourselves and shame ourselves then we will just do the same to other people so it's all about self healing it all starts with our self so in this video I just simply recommend and suggest everything I'm saying to study yourself and to be very careful with how you respond with your emotions and to other people's emotions to pause and hesitate a moment and always say to yourself in your mind this is one of the things that I say to myself like I could be wrong there could be something very important that I'm missing at the, right now and I'm not always right and this I could be wrong so basically speaking I ask and pray to my guides and angels for help for understanding for clarity for the right knowledge and important information to know so this is like critical you have to have this open humbleness and open mind um, so yeah you need your partner to work with you if you're in a relationship if one person's doing all like too much of the work and the other person's just keep being a bit of a closed person a bit like a little bit like a baby not wishing to grow not wanting to grow wanting to stay in old patterns just being totally uncareful and uncaring about you and their expression of their traumas and triggers and not wishing to seek healing or improve then we need to ask ourselves those self-love questions like what am i afraid of yeah like what what's keeping me stuck here why am i choosing to stay because every day we have a cho we have choices we're never stuck anywhere so we have that freedom our life is a co-creation and a creation of us along with other people so um anyway i'll leave you with this um, i hope this video has helped if you wish to have a veil of my services at the moment the the human and collective cosmic consciousness and the world <laughs> check out my links below for higherselfherbs.com and owenfox.org i do health coaching life coaching and relationship coaching and healing and I also have a herb shop where I sell also enzymes, superfoods and essential oils, those four things. I really love to work with people, I love to help people, that's what I do, I love to do as well as making the videos. So if I can help you in body, mind or spirit, any holistic way, it would be my joy. So please contact me and also befriend me on Facebook and link up there and let's like become a, a greater force together. And I'll learn from you, and uh, you maybe might learn anything from me also. So, um, thanks for your time, and lots of love and care for you. And I will intend to continue to be as open learning and caring and careful to others in my life and to myself as much as possible. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. And thanks, thanks for your support and love for me and my friends, my family, and my partner. Because anything you do, any of my services or products totally helps me and I really appreciate it. I hope I can help you too and I'll see you again another time. See you next time, next video. Take, take care. And on my, on my channel wall you can see lots of playlists including relationships and empowerment and all sorts of stuff. So, Okay, bye. Have a nice day.